In this video, we're going to run through some of the top keyboard navigation issues within Salesforce Experience Builder. Now, keyboard navigation is super important, not just for those who are blind, but also for those who have fine motor skill issues, who maybe can't use a mouse and have to use some other input device, usually a keyboard. So let's get into it. Number three, I did not expect that. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta start that over again. Hold on, I'm gonna refresh. So what happened was, okay, so where am I? Enter, tab, don't wanna close it, don't need to find a page. Let's look at my page actions. I wanna see my settings. If I hit tab, I expect to go from properties, page variations tab, um, and then down into that tab. So um, it actually took me, so what happened was, I tab, hit that, I got this open, I hit tab to navigate in here, and where did I go? Up to here, and over to this again. Coffee. Page actions, page settings. <laughs> Number two. Now it's a modal and it's open. What if I hit escape? I can't. I can't hit escape and get out of it, but I can close it. But what if I, what if I, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back there and open it up. Okay. Escape does not close this menu. You have to hit the X. So that's a huge navigational issue. I can't actually access a large portion of the things I might want to customize. All right, let's pop into our theme. Uh, if I hit, it's already focused on the escape button. If I hit escape, nothing. If I hit shift tab, shift tab works. Uh, if I go into colors, I want to go colors and general. Okay. That collapses and expands it. Um, oh, that's fun. If I open up the color wheel, I, I hit enter or space to get open, uh, to open this up so I could select a different color. And I thought, okay, I'm in there. My arrow keys doesn't move the color to a different area. So clearly I should be able to hit tab to get down to the RGB values so I can edit that. And it just has me tabbing through this menu behind here and I can't escape out of it. What if I just, yeah, nope. So that's useless. And I'm betting if I keep hitting tab through here, it's going to take me back to the UI. Salesforce, you've made this impossible for people who use a keyboard to navigate, to actually do their job. Okay. So I'm going through in the center page and I've gone through all of this stuff. So user, then I go to the navigation menu. Then I should go to that area with the test, the partner portals, accessibility. What? Wait, somehow I managed to change. I'm going to have to go back and look <laughs> I'm going to, have to rewind this. When did I change the layout? Because this used to be two columns of stuff. What if I just, yeah, nope. So that's useless. I managed to change the page settings, even though I, anyway, where was I? Let's say I select this. I'll make that go. All right. So I have this selected. I just did it real quick to get use my mouse and I close that out. So I'm still focused here and I hit tab and I'm in the freaking UI for the stupid browser again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Global search box is still, still highlighted. I'm really getting pissed off. Number one. Now I should go to this focus on the test, the partner portals, accessibility box. That's a rich, rich text component. And it goes to the create record button. 
and then the lead in box, and then the record list. <sighs> okay, let me show you what keyboard navigation completely skips over and is completely inaccessible to me as a keyboard user. This rich text editor never focuses on it. This rich content editor never focuses on it. The tabs doesn't focus on it. And of course, because this is nested inside the tabs, that dashboard never gets a focus on it. And then we've got this record list down here, completely skips that too. What the, <laughs> what the, ah! I am so angry right now. I need a gummy. I am so angry. Like anybody, and you, there are more keyboard users than you think there are Salesforce. Each release, you have a few accessibility updates and that's awesome, but this is a hot pile of garbage. Builder's already got its weird little quirks, but you're making it so that there are people who literally cannot do this job. They are completely excluded from building in the experience builder, period. If you want to see some other accessibility issues within the builder, check this out.